friends. Today I am here to do the snobbish book tag. I completely forgot to get the creator of this tag before filming, so I will leave it down below along with a link to their video. There are seven questions to this tag, and it's basically just about being a reader, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Question one, adaptation snob. Do you always read the book before you see the movie? And not really anymore, no. Um, I used to be very adamant that I had to read the book first. But a lot of the times I just like, I don't know. Sometimes the books don't sound that appealing to me. But then like seeing it in a, like a trailer form, it kind of makes the story sound appealing. So I'll go see the movie instead of reading the book since like the trailer and seeing it visually is how it sounded interesting to me. So no, I don't always read the book first. Question two, format snob. You can only choose one format to which re in which, blah. You can only choose one format in which to read books for the rest of your life. Which do you choose? Physical books, ebooks, or audiobooks? Now ebooks would, should be the answer here because they are the easiest way, it's just, it's the easiest way for me to read a book anyway. But I really like having my shelves, and so I really like collecting physical books, so I think that's what I would have to go with, honestly. Question three, ship snob, would you date or marry a non-reader? And like, just personally, I don't think this really applies to me, but like, as long as you're not like bothering me about what I like to do, you do you, honestly. Like, it's not a thing. Question four, genre snob. You have to ditch one genre, never to be read again for the rest of your life. Which do you choose? Like, I'm a chicken, so goodbye horror. Goodbye horror and thriller. I kind of have gotten a little bit into mysteries, but, like, not too much. So, horror, bye bye Question five. You can only choose to read from one genre for the rest of your life. Which do you choose? Obviously romance. You can have like a contemporary romance, a dark romance, a romantic suspense. Um, like there's a historical romance. There's so many options just within the romance genre. But like how could you not pick it? Or how could I not pick it anyway? Question six. Community snob. Which genre do you think receives the most snobbery from the bookish community? <laughs> Guess what I'm gonna say. Yes, the romance community. Um, even people who are like romance readers read it and like don't rank it as high as like other things that they read. Like YA fantasy is just like the end all be all for like booktube. And it's basically like if you don't read the YA fantasy, then it's kind of almost like you're not really worthy of booktube's time. Is, or not really worthy of booktubers time. Let me put it that way. Question seven is snobbery recipient. Have you ever been snubbed for something that you've been reading or for reading in general? And mostly like, like I'll take a book to work and I'll be reading it on my lunch break and mostly people will just be like, oh you read? Young people read? I didn't know anybody read anymore. And I'm just like, what? That makes no sense. If you think people are not reading anymore, you really need to get out more often. So, like, it's not a... Mm. So, that is my version of the Snobbish Book Tag. If you've done this tag, let me know so I can check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!